Hi, thank you for coming again. I want you to stop right now and think for a second. How many things that you've wanted to do, a project, a class, a dream, losing weight, but you didn't go forward because you thought you just had to be perfect? Well, let's have that conversation today. You don't have to be perfect and all-knowing to be worthy of fulfillment or success. Honestly, you don't need to have all of the answers. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60 with Sandra. Wonderful to see you again today. And if you are new to my channel and you enjoy conversations like this, I would absolutely love to have you push that button and subscribe and be a part of this fantastic community that I have here today. One thing that we're going to talk about today is the feeling that you have to be absolutely perfect before you start anything. Now, you know what things you have in mind in your life that you want to do, whether it's whatever it is. I'm not going to even list anything. You're waiting and waiting and waiting because you feel that you can't do it because you absolutely have to be perfect. Well, I gave up the idea of being perfect a long time ago because do you know what? What I want to do is I just want to live my life fully and to the best extent I can. And sometimes that involves not waiting to be perfect. I know it sounds crazy, but when I started my channel about five years ago, I didn't know what I was doing. But I didn't wait around when it was suggested to me I said, why not? So I jumped in with both feet. I wasn't perfect, but what I did was that I evolved along the way. We cannot stop living and waste all of those hours and days and years in our lives because we don't want to do anything, live our dreams, have a project, whatever it is that you're doing, until we are perfect. Write that book. You can't wait until you are perfect because you you know what perfection is? Perfection is learning along the way, being consistent and, and practicing. You don't have to be perfect to begin. You don't have to be perfect to appreciate yourself. You don't even have to be perfect to be loved or to love. You don't have to be perfect to be spiritual. You don't have to be perfect to be successful. You don't have to be perfect in your own light, whatever season you are in. If you wait for number one to be perfect before you start, you may never start because perfection is learning and practicing and being consistent because along the way that consistency and being the best you can be in whatever you're doing will eventually reach the best. Nothing is perfect but he will be the best that you can ever be and that is okay. You don't have to be perfect to be excellent because excellence also is relative. But excellence is a process. It happens when you do your best over and over again. And you don't have to be perfect to be loved or loved. We humans are put on this earth to love 
And it's not something that is reserved for special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries. It's something that you can share every single day. And you don't have to put out that perfect love, that perfect sentiment. It's being there and doing it on a regular basis. And it's okay to take a break once in a while to stop. They're not going to say, oh, you know, she's not perfect. What's the matter with her? She's uh, taking a break. She's not doing this. She's not doing that. It's okay because we're human. And sometimes emotionally, we have to just step back and heal, don't we? We just have to step back and reevaluate who we are. And it has it has nothing to do with excellence. It has something to do with taking a breath, breathing, to process healing, and then to get up and to move on. Taking care of ourselves is really important because we then maybe have to try and think about another approach to what we are doing. So it's very healthy and it's not against perfection to step back and take a break. And honestly, you don't have to be perfect to be spiritual. Spiritual is just that. It's a practice. And because it is a practice, you can grow and practice it on a daily basis. Through compassion, we learn that we don't have to be perfect to be worthy or to deserve the best in life. You do not need to be perfect to be successful. Successful is a perception. Where Whatever you define a success to be in your life, whether it's to be a better partner, a better parent, better at your job, that is a perception that you own and you can define it for yourself. And you absolutely don't have to be perfect to your own light and where you are right now. Everything has a season, whether it's it's tr in your, you know, summer, winter, spring, fall, flowers have seasons. We have seasons. Wherever you are, embrace that and live your life the best that you can be right now and you know i think that might be my mantra <laughs> i have said that so many times embracing where you are right now is a form of success and the last thing i want you to remember is that you are powerful and you absolutely don't have to be perfect to own that. So let's all go out today in our imperfect way and strive for whatever we want without putting it off one more day. Thank you so much for joining me today for this conversation. I hope you got something from it. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You are so close to me in my heart. And if you have an opinion about perfection and what it means to you and how what it has helped you in your life or how it has hindered you in your life, please let me know. Be good to yourself today. Be kind to whomever crossed your path. And please, let's all share the love and pray for peace. I, I hope that you will join me next Tuesday for our future conversation. Take care, and I hope to see you soon.